Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to add curl to your hair with a flat iron. So I have my lovely mannequin headgear, Amelia. So I'm just gonna section the hair up. Comb out the section. I'm gonna grab probably about like the section the size of an inch, about. Take my flat iron and I wanna cut or kind of smooth out this section because her hair is all curled from a bun that I had done. Okay, you start kind of rolling it, turn it all the way down. And then when I take it down, I twist it into the curl. Take another about one inch section, smooth it out so your section's nice and clean. And now I'm gonna go the opposite way because I want the curls to bounce off of each other. So now I'm gonna start rolling down. I have my flat iron bent. And then I'm gonna grab another section at the top you can see I'm already starting to twist it and then when I take it down I twist it down okay and then this last section add some heat smooth it out a little bit start up here then start to twist and pull it down through your section. And then twist it in. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave each of those sections how they are. I don't want to move them at all because I want them to cool down in the curled section. Now I'm gonna take my next layer. And I typically do this in about three layers. So, um, about bottom of ear to ear, like where the occipital bone is, that bone in the back of your head, and then temple to temple. Okay, clip that up. Okay, so in previous videos, you would know that I say around your face, you wanna go away from your face to open up your face. So here, I'm gonna grab about a one inch section, a little, or maybe a little wider. Smooth that out. And then right here, you can see I'm starting pretty close to the scalp. I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna turn it. So as it goes down the rest of the hair shaft, it's already turned and it's curling. Now, she does not have the nicest of hair. So yours should probably turn out a lot nicer than Amelia's will. Take my next section, smooth it down, and then I'm gonna go and then it all depends on your curl or your flat iron. Um, this one here that I have at home is actually kind of kind of getting up there in age, so the heating element may not be as high. But you want to make sure you're prepping your hair also with a heat protectant. You can also go down slower. That'll make it curlier. Smooth out. Almost done, and then the top section will be done. So it's a pretty fast way to go through. But all you're doing is turning it completely around.
and then I just like to twist it around with my fingers as I lay it down. down your last section. And again, like I said, I take about one inch in width. So I want to smooth this out a little bit, add some heat to my section. You don't want your sections to be too big because it'll be too much hair to go down. It'll drop in the curling or in the flat iron. I will say that this is easiest to do in about medium length hair. So that would be like your shoulder length girls, just because you'll get enough to make a curl with it, but it won't be so long that it drops out of your flat iron as you go down. It gives it a really soft um, bottom, like the ends, just like when you do like the beach wave and you leave those a little bit smoother. And before you smooth out any of these sections or combine them with like oil in your hands or anything, make sure that each one is completely cooled down. Otherwise you risk pulling the curl out and that will have just wasted your time. Oops, I lost that one at the end. All right, so here is more of a relaxed curl. With it being so soft, I tend to like to just kind of shake it in. Like even if you have it in your hair, own hair, just kind of shake it and don't really pull much, but it just gives you a really soft bend to the hair. And you can always go through if you want tighter pieces. If you had noticed before, when I'm going down in a section, um, let me just grab this one. The smaller the section of hair you grab, so even if you wanna go smaller than an inch, the smaller the section of hair, the tighter the curl is gonna be. And the slower I move down, also the tighter it's gonna be. So you can see how that one curled up a lot more. So if you want a lot more curl to it, or if your hair does not hold curl very well, then maybe instead of doing the hair in three sections, like I had done, 
you're gonna wanna do four or maybe even five and just take smaller sections throughout. But that'll give you a little bit more curl and a little bit more bounce.